Hey guys, welcome back to the Conservative Patriot. My name's Keith. Hope you guys are doing well. Hey, so they finally did it. They actually are going to put articles of impeachment together against President Trump. I can't believe it. I didn't think it was going to come to this. Eh, who am I kidding? I did think it was going to come to this. I didn't think it was going to come to this so quickly. Um, did you, Have you guys watched the, any of the uh, judiciary um, hearings yesterday? I kind of... You know, I had a meeting yesterday and I, I listened to it on the radio for about, you know, a half an hour, 45 minutes there and then on the way back. Uh, and then I saw a little bit of it uh, during the day. Um, but come on. I'm like three of the four lawyers, law professors that were, you know, sitting at that table yesterday. Hello. Can you say biased? All three of them have donated to Obama, Clinton, um, Elizabeth Warren. Really? Those are your your non-biased law professors who are going to give their their non-biased opinion on if President Trump committed an impeachable offense. Uh, you guys realize that all three of them have written papers on why he should be impeached. Even like two years ago, bef- well before all of this. So you can't tell me that there was... Um, a fact witness on that stage yesterday. They weren't fact witnesses. They had no knowledge. And I think Matt Gates was up there uh, when he was questioning uh, them, asked all four of them, do you have any factual evidence of an impeachable offense from the Schiff report? And they were silent, completely silent. What was yesterday about? It was just about another show of... Trump hatred or Trump derangement syndrome from the left. And then Jonathan Turley, who is no fan of Trump either, you know, voted for Hillary Clinton, voted for Obama, didn't vote for Trump, um, is up there. And he is the most honest guy on the stage. He's a Democrat. He's a law professor. But he's saying, hey, you guys are rushing into this with no crime, no proven crime. There's been nothing proven to say Trump did anything impeachable. Bill Clinton, there was a crime. Richard Richard Nixon was a crime. Andrew Jackson was a crime. There were all crimes. That's why that got moved moved those that's why they got moved forward to an impeachment um inquiry. And then they were impeached. Bill Clinton stayed in office. Richard Nixon resigned. It, it's just absolutely ridiculous. So this is what's going to happen. The the Democrats just shot themselves in the proverbial foot. There are 30 or 35 representatives in Trump districts who are now going to lose their 2020 re-election bids because of this. Thank you, Nancy Pelosi, for moving this so far ahead with your head shoved firmly up your own ass. Um, Trump is going to win re-election. They may... They may move to impeach him in the House of Representatives because the Democrats have the majority. It's going to be completely partisan. All Democrats will vote yes. All Republicans will vote no. It will move to the Senate where it will be shot down rather quickly. And I can't wait. I can't wait to see the witnesses that the Republicans subpoena. They're going to call in Schiff. They're going to call in probably both the Bidens. They're going to call in all kinds of people. And they're going to prove how ridiculous the Democrats are in this entire process. Even Jonathan Turley yesterday said that if you go forward with articles of of impeachment, you are going to alienate half the country. Well, they already did. They've already done that. And I think probably more. There are a lot of independent voters in there that are going to look and go, hmm, this does not smell right. Even some moderate Democrats are, are... I can't see how they will want this impeachment to go through because they're just like, there's nothing there. They may go for it just because it, you know, on party lines, but morally, you know, that they're just like, this isn't, this isn't right. Um, that's, what's going to happen. Tomorrow's a new day. Um, we'll see what happens. The IG report comes out, I think next Monday or Tuesday, 
So the Democrats are just, they're just trying to just ram this thing down everybody's throat. They're just running with it. It's kind of like a, I don't know, it's like a, uh, it's like a Hail Mary pass. You know, they're like, let's try this. Shit. Catch it. No, we're going to fumble it again. It's not going to get caught. You know, there, there, there's no candidate that's going to beat Trump that they have. They're in deep shit, like I said, in their districts. So what's going to happen in 2020 is Trump's going to win re-election. The House is going to go to the Republicans, and the Senate's going to stay with the Republicans. And then we're going to finally get some stuff done. Nancy Pelosi will no longer be Speaker of the House. She can just retire off into the sunset, hopefully, because, good Lord, I'm done looking at this lady. And Andrew McCarthy will finally be the Speaker of the House. Thank you. God, it's going to be a long, what, 11 months, pretty much. A long 11 months for this to happen. But keep your heads up. We'll keep moving forward. Sorry, the hiccups just kicked in. And, uh, yeah, I mean, good luck. Good luck, Pelosi. You just you just doomed your entire party. Thank you for that. Um, Yeah, hey. Do me a favor, guys. If you're subscribed, please check and see if you're still subscribed. There's some weird algorithm things going on. If you're not subscribed and you like the content, do me a favor. Click that subscribe button. Hit me, hit that uh, thumbs up and click the bell icon so you guys get notified of when I put out another video. And always remember, stay on the right side. Have a great night, guys.